Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an equation for integers. We have 2 to the power a plus 4 to the power b equals 96. And we're going to be looking for integer solutions. Now, what happens if a and b are real numbers? Then we're going to have infinitely many solutions. So let's go, go ahead and take a look at it from that perspective first. So isolate 4 to the power b. And then log both sides with base 4. So you can bring the b down and get a 1. So log with base 4, 4 to the b. And then with the same base, 96 minus 2 to the power a. Now b, you're going to bring it to the front. Log 4, base 4 is going to be 1. So you can basically write this as b equals log of this quantity, base 4. And basically for every any replacement of a, with a number, and a real number, you're going to get a value for b, so there's going to be infinitely many solutions. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for integer solutions. So let's go ahead and find integer solutions. So first of all, this is the original problem. And you probably already guessed that, uh, some of the solutions at least. First of all, notice that 4 can be written as 2 squared. So we can replace this with 2 to the power a plus 2 to the second to the power b equals 96. And then by the rule tells us to multiply the exponents. So we get something like this, where a and b are integers. Okay, so notice that 2 to the a and 2 to the power 2b are both, 2b or not 2b by the way, they're both powers of 2. So you're basically adding two powers of two and uh, getting a nine to six. And uh, so I'm going to show you something that is uh, going to give us a unique representation, uh, which is called the binary representation. So if you write nine to six in binary, that by the way, that means base two. You're going to get the following. You're going to get two ones and then one, two, three, four five zeros and this is going to be in base two and that is going to be our number 96. Now notice that this number can be written as a sum of powers of two. So if you think about binary representations, the powers of two start with one and they just continue with zeros. So you can't have any ones in the middle. It starts with one, kind of like a 1100, but we don't read it that way. So it's like one zero zero or one zero or one zero 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 zero, something like that. So we can kind of break this down I'm going to have six digits here, right, after the uh, one, plus the number uh, one followed by five zeros, okay? So this is the only way to break it down in base two. And notice that both of these are powers of two. And what are they? Well, this one is 64 if you convert it to decimal, and this one is going to be 32. In other words, a number can be written as a sum of powers of two in only one way and that is unique okay so we got 64 plus 32 equals 96 now notice that we can go ahead and write our original equation 2 to the a plus 2 to the b equals 96 which can be written as 2 to the 6 plus 2 to the fifth 64 is 2 to the 6th power and this is 2 to the fifth power and you can tell because one is followed by six zeros that indicates 2 to the power 6 right so this kind of gives you some ideas, right? If you do one-to-one -one correspondence, okay, maybe A is going to be 6, right? That's a possibility. So let's take a look. So maybe this is this and this is that. So from here we can say, hey, A is equal to 6 and 2B or not 2B equals 5. But this is problematic because this gives us B equals 5 halves, but we're looking for integer solutions. So a equals 6 is not going to work either because that's going to force b equals 5 halves. So we're going to forget about that and look at it the other way around, which is 2 to the power a equals 2 to the fifth power. So this means a equals 5 and 2b equals 6, from which we get b equals 3. So this looks like a working solution. Actually, it does, right? Uh, 5 comma 3 is a solution. You could also consider the following. So looking at it from another perspective, also consider 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power 2b can be factored. So suppose 
a is less than 2b so i'm assuming that a is less than 2b here so a is the smaller power take out 2 to the a this is going to give you 1 plus 2 to the power 2b minus a there was another Olympiad problem that we've done a while ago. If I can find the link, I'll share the link with you. Uh, but it, it works with the same principle. So if you're looking at sum of two powers of two or difference of two powers of two, it would be helpful to factor uh, the expression. Okay, so now this is equal to 96. So let's go ahead and look at some choices here or options, I should say. What are the options? Well, 2 to the a is a power of 2, and this is 1 more than a power of 2. So we're going to factor 96, and let's start with 1. What if a equals 0, right? Okay, so we get 1, and this becomes 96. But 96 is not 1 more than a power of 2, so we're going to discard it. It's not going to work. What about using 2 and 48? 48 is not 1 more than a power of 2. That's not going to work. And then I'm going to continue with 4. By the way, um, you have to consider powers of 2 that divide 9 to 6, right? Well, they're all going to divide pretty much, so it doesn't matter. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, if 2 to the power a is 4, then this is going to be 24, which is not 1 more than a power of 2. So none of these is going to work. And when uh, this is 8, this is going to be a 12. Again, that's not 1 more than a power of 2. And I'm kind of doing brute force here. 16 and 6, 6 is not 1 more than a power of 2. And finally, when 2 to the power a is 32, this is going to be a 3, which is 1 more than a power of 2. Yay, it works. And this indicates the same thing. a is 5 and b is 3, if you plug it in. But you, could also, you should also consider the other case. What happens, what if a is greater than 2b, right? Okay, then you're going to get something like this. 2b is going to be the smaller power. In other words, a is going to be this larger. So you can take out 2b. That's going to give you 2 to the power a minus 2b plus 1 equals 96. But when you look at the choices the same way, you're going to notice none of them work. For example, if this is 1, this is 96. Nope. If this is 4, oh, by the way, here you can't use a 2 because that would indicate b equals 1 half. We're not going to go with um, non-integer values. So we have to consider even powers of 2, like 2 to the 0, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 4, so on and so forth. 4 is going to give us um, 24. That's not one more than a power of 2. And 16 is not going to work either. And none of them is going to work. So these are the only solutions for our equation, which means 5 comma 3 is the only solution for 2 to the a plus 4 to the b 4 to the b equals 96 and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye